what's good everybody this is DP and I'm back at it with another anthem video first thing first let's say if you haven't subscribed to the video go ahead and do that you know all that YouTube channel again and all that all that stuff you already know how that works now let's get down to the video so we are going to be talking about the live stream that we just got from Bioware for the loot system progression and crafting and gear and all of that stuff I'm just going to be talking about mainly to the three point that I actually found interesting throughout the whole video. I know there was a lot of things that they talked about in the video, so it's, there's not enough time to cover everything. And I'm trying to keep my video short, not too long. So I'm just gonna go to my point and talk about certain things that I really find interesting in this live stream that we just get because they gave us a lot and then a lot of people wanted to see the loot system how it works and the next thing now is the end game that we're looking for but I don't think they're going to show us any end game activity which I, I would love for them to not show us because let's experience that when the game comes out we already seen enough so I hope they don't show us any of the end game stuff right away first thing I want to talk about is the simple fact that Anthem is looking kind of like Warframe. Well, not looking, but I'm getting the vibe of, of a Warframe type game with the crafting mechanic that they have. And the reason why I say that is because that throughout the live stream they were talking about how if you're having difficulty having a certain weapon drop for you, you can actually go in and find a specific mission or any mission in that order who supply you with the blueprint for X X uh, weapon you can go and do that activity and you can get that weapon blueprint and then if you have the material for it you can and uh, draft craft <laughs> draft you can craft the weapon that gave me a, a warframe vibe like I said destiny don't have any crafting mechanics and the destiny loot system just sucks compared to warframe destiny I don't even know why people compare destiny to warframe after this video right here I don't see any resemblance to destiny with warframe Especially with the loot system that they have, the progression system that they have in this game and the crafting mechanic is really, really impressive and way beyond what Destiny can achieve. Then more, more so into the scope of Warframe, which is amazing. And another thing is that I really found interesting and we already talked about it, we know this, is the difficulty level in Warframe. When you play the game, there is different, different difficulty, hard, normal uh, easy normal hard and they have more i believe mark derrick say they had more than just that on twitter but we know that the one is lancer freelancer and master which ben Irvin was talking about in his live stream with uh, michael gamble where they were like oh which difficulty we're playing is it master or maybe is he a, a master difficulty or freelancer and, you know they were talking about that and uh, apparently the way it works in anthem is the higher the difficulty you play you choose the higher the loot the better the loot you're going to get if you're playing on lancer which is the e equivalent of easy you will only get common gear and if you play on freelancer you have like you, you get like common to rare kind of rare gear which is not really all that but now if you want to get the better stuff right away I don't know if it's going to be available whenever the game launch if we can like right away when you load into the game just select the highest difficulty they have to offer which will be hard master I'm pretty sure you can because most of the game you can do that so if they allow that I mean, you can jump on that and just go from there and from that point on you will have a higher chance of getting better gear because I know that they say in higher difficulty level like master you will only get higher weapons to drop for you and I know like the master difficulty when you play on master difficulty you get like the I think the, the higher weapon that they have in the game is epic you get like epic gear which is legendary basically well it has purple color those, those are epic is it I don't know I, I, I think it's epic that's what it's called somewhere I, yeah, Mark, Mark, they will talk about it some, some, some time ago on Twitter. It's epic. You get, and uh, the uh, percentage when you play on Master increases whenever you choose the difficulty. So let's say you're playing on a Freelancer, which is the equivalent of normal, I want to say, and then you go to Master. So if your Freelancer is like, let's say the, your, your, the chance of you getting rarity gear will be at, uh, I want to say 
and you go to master will be a hundred percent getting like rare and maybe 80 like the rare maybe a hundred percent or a hundred and fifty percent chance of you getting uh, drop chances of masterwork gear and, and things like that so all of that changes and that will impact the way you play the game which is uh, actually a really solid thing for a lot of us because then that would just give us an idea of where we want to start the game like for a hardcore player they'll probably go with the master difficulty right away until they can increase or unlock the other whatever difficulty they have after that I'm pretty sure they probably have another one maybe one difficulty after master which is usually what game offers that oh you have one difficulty that's hard and you have this one that's like super hard and for them i think that's probably what's gonna happen and on that difficulty the highest one is where you will get all the best gear all the color purple yellow blue whatever color they have for the gear to differentiate the two of them which for me is actually a really strong strong thing i really love that because i know what difficulty i'm going to play once i get the game because they confirmed it here again the loot that you get for the game is depending on the difficulty level you have selected for the game if you're on easy casual you will get casual gear like common stuff if you're on freelancer you get somehow powerful gear but if you're on master you guaranteed to get better gear and if you even go even higher then you you just have the better stuff drop for you so just imagine you're doing a raid and you want like a Let's say they have like one difficulty is master and the other one is super master. Just make an up name. <laughs> you get the point. Super master. Seriously, dude, can't think of anything better. You have like super master difficulty. So you play on that, and right there, everything you get is only like equivalence of exotics in uh, Anthem, whatever that will be called. So you only have a chance of getting those kind of gear, but to a higher percentage. So it's like, let's say. If uh, the master is a uh, hundred percent chance of uh, drop rate, and then on the super super master difficulty will be one hundred and fifty percent or two hundred percent drop rate, that will push you to play on that difficulty. And for the blueprint, the blueprint for weapons, uh, the only thing I have a question about is I hope it is not in real time whenever you craft it. I don't want it to be like, uh, okay, wait a day before I can use this weapon. Kind of like how Warframe does it. I hope they do away from that. It's just like, give us fake time, right? Just do it right now, you get it right away. That's it. I don't want to wait one day, two day, just to get a weapon. If, if I fight for a weapon, I get a blueprint, I, I grind for the material, give me that weapon, I will build it, I want to use it right away. I don't want to wait two days or three days or, or a day to be able to play with set weapon so if they don't give us the time that would be super super great I, I really love I would love that man I don't want to have to wait for my weapon to be done at the, and use it the next day you know because let's say just imagine if it's like a super powerful gear that you need in order to complete a mission because everybody has it and then it's so great because of all this perk that he has on it and you right here finally get the blueprint for it and you have to wait a day or two just to use it i don't want that i don't want to experience things like that i want them to do away from the time gated um crafting system that warframe have warframe is more so like for them to push people to use their platinum because that's how warframe make money the game is free so you buy platinum to rush your progress on your blueprints and your weapon crafting here since it's a already $60 game I don't think they're gonna implement the freaking time in it because I don't, I don't want to have to wait for my game so I hope they do away from that and I'm going to end the video right here and also if you guys haven't subscribed yet don't forget to do that we're here to stay we will be covering a lot of Anthem content as you can tell my channel is full of Anthem stuff and I know this is not the best of video out there and I'm <laughs> still climbing out of the shadow and now eventually I'll get better you know I'm just saving up on some uh, better quality uh, software that I'm going to be using and kind of like learning how to use so you guys uh, have a great day and enjoy the rest of your day night whatever time you want right now so hey peace out